So how many number of questions an average IT do in order to get placed in a good product based company? What do you think? Let me know in the comment box. So in this video, I have Pratiksha with me who cracked MathWorks, a non-month company, but got around 5 lakhs in her bank account as her first month salary along with the bonus. And in this video, we'll be discussing her interview experience and I'll be providing the summary of the whole video as usual in the last timestamp. And also, if you have some doubt related to your gate or placement preparation, you can mail me at resolveyourdoubt at the rate gmail.com to get your queries resolved. So let's start this video. Uh, in 1.1 chapter 4, Oracle and I got rejected in the first time itself. It's not only about coding, but other things also have to prepare. Yes, so there are situations being questions. And I have been prepared about the difficult things. Like hey everyone, my name is Ron Jaswal and I'm back with the fifth episode of Interview on Plus. In this video, we have Pratiksha with us who recently cracked MathWorks. So let's have a brief introduction of her. Hi everyone, I'm Pratiksha. I'm from Odisha. Currently, I'm doing MTech Computer Science and IIT Guwahati. Today, we'll be discussing my journey and my preparation for this week. Okay, so that's nice. So, uh, can you tell them like what was the selection criteria for MathWorks and was there any cutoff for 11, 12 also? I mean, 10, 12 also. Yeah, for 10, 10, 12 both it was 60 percent, and for current degree the cutoff was 7 GPA. So, for 7 GPA, right? Was there any other cutoff like uh, so you took drop after 12 or not? No, I didn't take it. And what about after B Tech? Yeah, there was a drop here. That mattered in the interview or not, or like there was any drawback of that? No, uh, there was no such drawback. Also, no interview would ask me about that drop no. So that's nice. Oh, okay, so can you tell me like how many rounds were there in the interviews and uh, what were the questions asked in those interviews and also the written exam before the interviews? Okay, so for the written exam, I think the exam was of 1.5 hours and there were some MCQs along with two coding questions. So one coding question was uh, relatively easy and the other one was very difficult. So it was so difficult that the people who didn't complete both the questions, they also got short -term. And uh, during the interview, there were three rounds, one technical, one HR and one managerial. So in the technical round, they asked about various concepts like uh, tree, graph. They covered all such concepts, but they asked very easy to medium level of questions. So they asked about uh, five to six such coding questions and they were only interested in the logic. And so in all the rounds, cumulative or in each round five to six? Uh, in only one technical round. So there, in, was, there was one technical yes, round, right? So yes. in that round only they asked you five to six, five to six questions. questions. And in all of them, they were just interested in the logic. So basically, uh, first question was about quick sort. So in that question, the interviewer told me to write the complete code along with explaining the time complex here. So uh, when he started writing the code, he stopped me and said that you only explain the logic and that will be enough. After that, so every the question, proper question was not like the proper solution was not not asked. No, at first he told me, but then we did not stop me and then told that for next all the further questions, he was only interested in the logic. And there were also uh, three four questions from Oops along with one mathematical question to say the formula was needed to derive, and also he asked that how do you implement this formula in uh, any language that you are comfortable with. So yeah, that was about the technical one. Okay, so like what are the other questions? Graph, trees? Yes, they covered linked list, trees and graphs and all the questions were very standard and easy to medium level. So you can find the questions in these for these itself. So, so, so doing all the top uh, like popular questions from these for yes, yes. So the linked list, so do you remember any of those questions from the graph and linked list? There was a tree traversal question, I don't remember it exactly, but yeah, they were very normal and they were not modified. Medium, medium questions? Yes, yes, medium questions. They were not very difficult. Okay, so, uh, so that was about technical round, right? Yes. What was the second round? Yeah, second round was HR round and the third one was managerial. So the, both the rounds were very similar. So they had a set of questions uh, which were not direct HR questions, like you cannot find them on internet. So they had modified the questions according to them. And the, some of the questions were also related to their culture and also you have to uh, answer similarly so that they are impressive, they are uh, like they should think that you are suitable to their culture. Yeah. So that was the situation. Around uh, 20 plus questions were asked uh, cumulatively in both the rounds. So were there like any uh, situation based questions also? Mm -hmm. Yes, so there were situation based questions and I had prepared a bit differently for those questions. So yeah, that actually helped. So was there any right or wrong answer for those questions or it was just like a normal like you have to give the right answer only? Okay, that I don't know. I mean, 
see there there is no right answer i mean there is a question which is completely related to their culture so how do you know the right answer so you just have to tell how you think yeah. your thought process that will really matter but then you have to sound positive like you cannot sound negative that actually it impacts your exactly yeah. so these were the exact rounds and so there was no system that questions asked in no no system was questions and what about hoops and all yep three four hoops questions were asked in the technical one hoops question will you remember any of them yes so uh, the first question was they uh, the interviewer told me to uh, write a code explaining method of overloading and overloading so okay. i write it in java so <laughs> method of overloading and method of overloading then i wrote a code explaining uh, those concepts after that he only uh, like brought some piece of code and asked what is the output so the question was related to hoops only So I had to put out. It's better for you to give some real world examples also, not just uh, theoretical concepts. Okay, so you told me that uh, you prepared separately for HR questions also, right? So can you tell them like how you prepared for those questions? Yeah. So uh, usually what we do is we collect the frequently asked HR questions from internet and then we try to uh, find out the answers for them. So my process was exactly reverse. What I did was. Uh, Till now, whatever I have the live events, I pick them and then I prepare descriptions for all the live events. And out of those descriptions, I try to find out the strengths. So, for example, if I talk about my internship, I could see with learning, I could see commitment there. So, I picked out those strengths and then I memorize that. So, when they ask me some question related to suppose how did you uh, suppose explain a situation where um, you learn very quickly. Or something similar, so I put that related answer there. So my preparation was a bit reverse. So I didn't prepare the questions; I prepared the answers and then mapped them to the respective questions. Okay, so did you prepare for puzzles also? Like, were there any questions of puzzles in the interviews? Okay, so I had prepared from these for these a few puzzles, but uh, nobody asked me about that. But yeah, you should prepare it. I mean, there is a very small set of questions, so you can prepare. Nice. And what about uh, along with the puzzles? Were there any? Uh, did you prepare for competitive coding? Or did you do any competitive coding? Uh, I only follow Geeks for Geeks in Lead Code, no other platforms. And only lead, in Lead Code only I used to give the contest. So lead Code contest. Yes. yes. Every week. Yes, every week I used to get a big seven. So how how much uh, like rank you were getting? In contests? Yeah. I don't remember. I mean, in a few contests I solved all four questions, and mo- in most of them I used to solve three questions. Okay. The hard one was really hard. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, so you have to give lead code contest also, okay? Yes. Basically, because it helps you to revise the concepts again, okay? Because that is not a standard question that you know that this is the uh, this question is from this topic. So those questions I uh, don't know, like right? they are already very important to you. So you have to think like which data structures and algorithm you can use to solve those questions, right? And also, it has time constraint. Yeah, it also Within has a time constraint. Within one and a half, you have to uh-huh. solve four questions. So, Okay, so I guess MathWorks was in 1.3 slot, right? So were there any interviews in 1.1 and 1.2 also? Yeah, in 1.1 I appeared for Oracle and I got rejected in the first round itself. Okay, so she is a Java developer and she got rejected from Oracle. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so the interviewer asked me actually very difficult questions. Initially, I thought that okay, only I feel that the question is difficult, but then the people who went after me in the same panel, they also felt felt the same. So the questions were really difficult. Uh, in one point, I had two interviews. One was Samsung Research, the other was Confluent. So I didn't have any interest in research. They had, so they went, and uh, my preference was Confluent. So I gave the interview for Confluent. Got waitlisted in that. Uh, and by the time it came back, Samsung went with five people after that. They ran them. Okay, so the moment <laughs> she came, Samsung already took all the uh, yeah. candidates they required. And I got uh, waitlisted in Confluent. So. After that, in 1.3, I gave maths, and within 10 minutes of finishing the interview, the results got it. So, like for along with you, like how many members were there giving the interviews? For maths, yeah, uh, I think about 20 to 30 people. And how many took? They took. They took only two. So out of 22, they took only two, right? Actually, they had shortlisted 50 people. Okay. The thing is, half of them got placed early. Okay, yeah. So in, in maybe the previous slots. Yeah, the remaining went to 20 to 25 people. Okay, so uh, power solutions for that, and uh, can you give some advice to the audience and like summarize all these things? Yeah, so the for the people who are in IIT or will be coming to IIT, so the placement process will be more or less same. 
So uh, you don't wait for October and September. I start preparing at that time. So you have to start it early. So you have also you have TA duty. You have to manage your time well. And uh, like you have to start really early. And it's not only about coding. There are other things also you have to prepare. So there are CS basics. There are system design. There are puzzles. So you have to prepare everything. Don't leave anything. And if you start early, you have time to do some follow your hobby also. Okay. Right. So there are so many stuff other than studying. I. Correct, and uh, give your written exams well. So don't get demotivated if you are not shortlisted in any. And till the end, you will get placed in in good companies. So don't worry. Yeah, best of luck. So thank you, Pratiksha, for coming up with us, and thank you, everyone. I hope you learned something from this, and best of luck for your future endeavors. I don't listen to the haters, man. I treat them like the enemy. Had a couple traders, man, but now they know the penalty. I tell them, see you later, fam. I do not need this jealousy. I got no time for failure, man. I wanna leave a legacy.